Amazing Grace is another person's fast controls toy. Amazing! Grace is another person's fast for choice, Lori. Yay! Yay! Amazing! Grace is another person's fast for choice, Lori. Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. Here they do. And I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and oh inspiring Percy's fast food toy story. <laughs> it's early morning and I have my cup of coffee here. Okay, so if you uh, mean indulge me okay that's a wonderful cup of coffee anyway our fast food toy story for today is none other than this it's a starbucks surprise okay it's actually a starbucks movie, and it is well wrapped with this uh, very signature starbucks the green bag so, which is basically reusable okay should you decide to use it for something else okay let's open it up you know before the quarantine i went to Starbucks and then <laughs> I realized yeah it's a good thing I, I went there because nowadays it's uh it's harder it's harder to go to Madeira or it's almost impossible to go to Madeira because of the, the checkpoints you have to be checked constantly and the traffic is so horrendous I've, uh, I've seen the long queue created by this uh, checkpoint and it's very long and I've seen a lot of uh, sacrifices that was being done by all those medical practitioners and the bank employees which are uh, immediately allowed to go through the very stringent checkpoints because uh, these are necessary employees. So that's it. But if you're going to Manila just for some R&R &R or for some leisure visits, uh, I think that would be impossible to actually get a, a pass. Well, anyway, so prior to the quarantine, which was uh, declared uh, last uh, March 15, I went to Starbucks and then I saw that they are actually uh, giving away <laughs> cards uh, with the design of Euroban, one of the great uh, fashion designers. So this is the card and it says there, uh, Vero Wang, one of those uh, renowned uh, fashion designers in our modern time. Look at that. And you get this for free um, just as long as you load it up with 1,000 pesos. And that 1,000 pesos is consumable from this card. So you simply have to swipe it in every Starbucks um, to get your cup of coffee, to get your uh, delicious Starbucks pastry. <laughs> and that would be awesome. But in my case, I used the 1,000 to actually buy. Uh, a toy which is still uh, made available in the Starbucks in Intramuros. <laughs> Actually, th this toy was released uh, December of 2020, and I was pleasantly surprised that they still have some old stocks of them. So I immediately uh, bought it on that day. So for 1,000, I added a couple more pesos to be able to purchase this uh, Starbucks Berlista, and now. <laughs> We have the privilege of actually seeing what this Starbucks Verista looks like. Hey. Wow, wonderful card. You're Wang. <laughs> okay, inside we have. Oh, wow. This is this great. Wow, look at that. It's our signature uh, Starbucks Verista here, donned in a very uh, traditional Filipiniana outfit. Okay, look at that, and there is this tag here. Yeah, to authenticate that this is really a genuine and bona fide Starbucks card. And then at the bottom of the feed, we have a Starbucks, uh, what's that, embroidery. <laughs> it says there 22, so this is probably number 22 from amongst the many pairs of uh, Starbucks Virgin stuff. That she even has a beer. And look at the intricate design. This is actually a signature, uh, I mean, the, the traditional outfit whenever uh, the Muslim princess 
uh, do the Shinkyo dance. That's a wonderful, very ornate uh, dance, traditional dance here in the Philippines. It originated in the Lanao Lake in Maranao, <laughs> Mindanao. Okay, and then they're using the the bamboo poles as part of the dance. Well, you are probably familiar with the Tinikling, but this is an altogether a different dance. It's called uh, Singkil. Okay, uh, so usually it's a dance for the princess, and as you can see, um, I mean, the, the outfit is really lavish and very ornately designed. I think <laughs> each part of this is actually hand embroidered. Look at that, there are gold trims here at the ends of the sleeves, and then there are this uh, uh, traditional uh, embroideries. So much uh, reminiscent of the Pintas in Mindanao, don't you think? And look at this uh, lapel. What's this? How do you call this? <laughs> very, very ornate design. And there are actually even gold threads that um, sort of decorate this particular uh, fabric. Okay, so this is so wonderful. Wow. And the veil. Wow. It's really exquisite. I mean, it's a little bit expensive, but I think it, it's worth every penny that you spent on this particular toy because uh, uh, this is a homage to those artistic and wonderful uh, outfits or costumes uh, here in the Philippines. Okay, and then the shoes, look at that. They have pointy shoes just like uh, Aladdin and each of the shoes is actually hand embroidered so a lot of uh, meticulous um, things were done to make this particular bear vista bear uh, featuring the, the famous hill uh, dance in Mindanao But the Starbucks Marista is nonetheless a very soft and cuddly still, even if she is uh, you know, wearing this ornate outfit. And then, uh, let's not forget, there's also the fans, which are also staples for the Disney princess as she is dancing the same here. Okay, and then uh, I think, uh, yeah, I can, <laughs> I can always hear the sound that is being accompanied whenever they dance the same here. Okay, now I must say this is just amazing great. <laughs> okay, so once again guys, let's try to be thankful to God for every amazing grace that come to our lives. Be in the form of a uh, uh, Starbucks barista here. Uh, I'm done in a Sankil outfit. I mean, she's about to actually dance a Sankil. Okay, dun dun. Or also be thankful for all those traditional dance and the traditional Filipiniana costumes that we have here in the Philippines. We have the Barotsaya, Barong Tagalog, we have the Sinkil. Uh, yeah, a lot of indigenous uh, Filipiniana costumes and, uh, which kind of uh, showcase the ingenuity and the artistry of the Filipinos. So thank God for that. It's, uh, it's really amazing and uh, fascinating to actually witness um, such uh, artistic uh, creations. Or basically guys, let's be thankful for every reason. Grace, be they small or big, be they seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful ones, or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly. And I thank you guys for tuning in to Princess Fast and Toy Story. Thank you for the new subscribers. And I hope to see you again with our next one. So until the next person's fast with Toy Story, bye bye and see you around. Bye.